We're doing part three on the Ford Edge. I'm gonna tear out the interior and put it back in and we're gonna start it back up all in this video. Okay, it's time we pull the dash. Center console will come out, the steering column will come out, then the dash will come out. I should have moved back the seats and leaned them back so that I would have more room up here, but I didn't do that. We don't have power. I don't want to connect power uh, without an SRS module. So we may remove seats. I am just parked on the street right now. So my driver's side stuff, is gonna be kind of limited. But either way, we're gonna make it happen. Let's get into it. All right, center console's out. I took apart a lot more than I needed to. I could have just popped this off of the shifter instead of undoing the boot, taking everything apart. Either way, it's out. Tomorrow, I will start attacking the dashboard itself and figuring that out. Okay, it's day two. Ready to get this dash out. I'm gonna start over with the steering wheel, move my way over towards the passenger side. I've got this cover off. I think I gotta hit bolt there, bolt there, back there, up there, and who knows what else, but we'll see. Struggling to pull this out and figure. I actually have to disconnect it underneath. Okay, I'm under the car, and that right there is our steering. So I just gotta get rid of that bolt, be able to pull that out, and pull the whole thing through on the inside. The only issue is, uh, it's not comfortable. So I'm gonna get this done, and you'll see everything else. All right, let's see if that worked. push these clips, I just used my hand, I didn't use anything else, so that this grog can come through.
Okay, I think I've pretty much got it here. The sides and bottom seem to be free. I did some bolts that were the dash bar because I was expecting to pull everything out, but it looks like I can get just the shell off, which will save a lot of like wiring disconnects. But I have just some things up there, maybe the speaker at the very front of the windshield. So I'm gonna grab those real quick. Shell won't come out by itself. There's two bolts. I think leading where that is and where that is or a little further behind it. And you just can't get them from the back. I got everything else, even some really hard ones like that metal bracket there, but it just wasn't possible. So I have to take the dash bar out. I'd already removed some things, but there is this, this is a T50 Torx bolt. You just have to back it out. You don't take it all the way out, but it is very annoying to get to. So that's out. You have to remove the windshield wipers to remove the cowl, which got that all unbolted now. I think that's the last dash bolt. There might be another one under that part. We'll see. After I have that out, this should come out. I'll still have some electrical connections. I'm sure I missed because I was trying to leave that all in there. about to overheat and have my friend come bring it inside with me. So I've got the new dash here. I took off this top panel because I already have one. This one has some paint on it. We do have a crack here and a crack here. So that's not ideal, but it shouldn't really affect anything. Just spent a lot of time cleaning this up. It was very dusty. Just remove this panel. And I'll be able to put on our metallic gray one. So now that this is flipped over, you can see that crack actually goes all the way through here. Again, it really shouldn't matter. It's just annoying that it is there. Okay, I've got both dashboards out here. This is our new one. I've set the airbag on here. I'm gonna swap pieces back and forth, get everything we need onto this one, and then I'll attach the dash bar. I think it's taken about two hours to get this where it is now, which I think I have everything done that can be done at this point. I have this connector for the little panel there. Yeah, everything else is uh, connected if the thing is here to be connected. I think I've got everything coming out the right direction. Nothing trapped underneath. Got these ready for the cluster, radio down into the center console, some other control modules in there, out to the side of the door. Got these are also out to the side of the door, but a little easier to keep them in the middle right now. The speaker's connected underneath all of this, and I think it's time.
Last night I was able to get the dash in place. Only got one bolt partially going into it right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing all the major bolts, then I'll do electrical connections, and then we'll work on all of these parts. Okay, I've got the dash set to where the next thing that has to happen is the steering wheel has to go in. And in order to do that, I want to resolve the wiring issue here where the connectors had melted as they do when the airbag deploys. But I took these off and I didn't take any pictures of what order they were attached in. And so for that, I just went online and found a clock spring. I've ordered these. Uh, for about five bucks and now taking them apart and they're just connectors so they're the right type that will fit into the airbag so yeah now that i know the order and i have these replacement pieces i'm gonna get them onto that Center console's done. Doing the top of it. Trim pieces, buckles, seats. Talk to you when it's done. Everything's back together, uh, save for a few just plastic pieces. Couldn't get in yet, or doesn't matter if I get in. So everything's in. This airbag is still, it's like got a gap there, popped out to the side. Like it's supposed to move for the horn, but 
yeah, it's something's not right, but I don't know how to fix it. Uh, I've tried because it just it just clicks in and then pull it back out, put it back in. I don't know. Either way, um, everything is now connected, so it is time to connect the battery and hope nothing explodes. I think it won't. But we'll see, maybe we'll get lucky and everything will be 100% good. Now I'm gonna stop stalling now. Okay, the battery's charged and it's re-secured. So we're going to try attaching it again, see what happens. Gonna give it a minute and then I'm gonna duck under the steering wheel, under the seat, and press the button so that I'm out of the way of all airbags if anything goes wrong. Okay, I don't really think there's a way to put this in accessory mode. Well, I'm just not smart enough for it. Depressing the brake. Let's see. All right, it started. I have a seatbelt light, driver door jar, and parking brake, which all makes sense. Sit in here. Push the brake. No airbag light. Awesome. Uh, does say passenger airbag off, which I guess would make sense. Doesn't need to be on if it's not occupied. Uh, what else can I test? So I have a seatbelt light still. We're in park. Take my foot off the brake. I'm gonna get out as I plug in the seatbelt. That light's off. Driver door jar. I have no dash lights. This is nothing. I think we're solid. I'm gonna let this thing run for a few minutes. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Thanks everybody for watching. Be back next time finishing it up. I might release a very poorly explained video more in depth on the dash because there's absolutely nothing out there for this year of Ford Edge, which is why I struggled with it for so long. Thank you again. See you later. Bye. Well, it looks like Arizona has come down with Florida-like symptoms. Instead of the pure rage we tend to exhibit in dry heat here, I'll have to watch out for very weird things, like people on bath salts setting raccoons on fire. <laughs>